Welcome friends. In the first part of our tutorial series, we're going to look at how to use FaceGen Artist Pro to generate faces based on pictures for your DAS, DAS 3D characters. Um, I'm going to be focusing on Genesis 8, 8 or 8.1 characters and I've already started FaceGen Artist Pro 4.2 um, and the only thing I did here is I went ahead and clicked to load image to bring up this window. So we, what you want to do is find uh, preferably three photos front facing and two side profile pictures hopefully in the same um, session uh, filming session so that all the lighting will be equal and as an example here they show that some bad uh, examples of pictures are one that are unevenly lit smiling um, ones where they have glasses on or where the head is mostly tilted down it's okay to have the face tilted up some that will also help um, define the jawline so that's preferable than the head being tilted down also, other issues would include uh, you know, hair coming down uh, uh, across the forehead and the eyes, or in some cases, facial hair, which you can kind of work around depending on the length of the facial hair. Um, so, let's go ahead and I'm going to pick the front uh, headshot. And then it's going to have you select where you want to place the markers on the face. Uh, in version 4.0 and above, they tend to try to uh, go ahead and pick those for you, but it may not work out as well. So you want to manually do that yourself. So I'm going to try to move these around. It, I don't think they matter where they go specifically because I had to rotate the picture. So. You just want to follow the guides that are provided. So put these by the corners of the mouth, one at the bottom of the chin. And you see in my case I do have facial hair, but that, that will become part of the te uh, image texture. So that's something I have to work around. So these would go at a corner of the jaw, usually right near the same line as the edges of the mouth. Um, edges of the nose or the nostrils and you know you had different commands for um, zooming in and zooming out and rotating the picture if need be let's see I might need to zoom out because I don't see all the markers here we go missing a few here we go move that down just so I have them available. Zoom back in. Put this one the outer edges of the cheekbones. It's always kind of hard for me to, to define. these in the middle of the eyes then click done uh, let's go ahead and load the right side and we want the same type of workflow track these per the example of the chin, top and bottom of the lips, and mind you, you can get away with just having a front picture, but you'll get a lot better results if you do have a side profile picture. And 
and same thing for the left side. And I imagine you could probably just duplicate if you had one side, you can duplicate all the rest, but I'm just seeing if the spots rotate along with the picture orientation they do, but they're, they're nowhere near auto um, placing themselves correctly. So when you have facial hair, hair you got to kind of guess where the forward tip of the chin is. Fortunately, in this case, I, it's very uh, thin hair, so not much of an issue. And you want to make sure the person has a good contrast with the background. good here just checking yeah close enough all right and then you hit create from photos And after a few moments, you will have a preview of your character's face. Um, just check it out if you need to make any changes. Sometimes I will check use detail from profile photos and you know maybe compare and contrast the results you get. And from there you can do different things. You can Make adjustments in face gen if need be. You can make them symmetrically or asymmetrically. But you also have the option of doing some of this in uh, Dash Studio. So you can make your changes to shapes, cut even colors. Uh, you can kind of mix the textures with some of the presets here. I tend to not do this because you lose a lot of the original textures. But you can do things like uh, add, adding different features like stubble or wrinkles and things like that. You can also take another picture, which some people recommend doing is taking another picture of the same person and doing this uh, tween to get uh, more geometry in your picture. So that is one thing people do suggest doing. And then another, another thing you can do if you're not quite satisfied is do generate for genetic matches and then it will do like uh, different variations of the same face and maybe you find one that's more to your liking. Like the middle one will be your, the original one generated and then these will be some alternates. I think I'll go with this one just because. And when you are ready, you can export them. Uh, make sure you name what you want to call it. So I'll call this uh, Dash to Blender DTB. Then choose the generation of character you want to export as. So I'm going to do Genesis 8.1 male. Um, just be aware of where you're exporting to. 
and let's see I generally keep my items here so browse the folder location so I would say 3D applications dad data dash 3 d my dash 3D library. So I'm gonna choose this third one. I kind of think spherical eyes can cause problems, although I usually almost always choose eyes alternate to the ones FaceGen creates. So I'll uncheck that either way. Uh, I usually keep all this the same. And I generally choose uh, PNG if I'm going to be using with photorealistic textures. If I'm going to use other textures and just using this for the shape, I'll use just JPEG. So I'll go ahead and hit export. And I'll take a few moments and what it's doing is exporting the shape and the textures and the appropriate directories to be picked up in DAS Studio. So the next video, we're going to look at importing all this into DAS 3D. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.